What's up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey, you guys. What's up? So, in today's video, y'all, we're going to be talking about Louis Vuitton's price increase because I feel like I'm in a DJ Khaled song where he's like, another one. And at this point, let me get my coffee, you guys, because I feel like you need coffee for what's about to be said and what I'm about to talk about. I feel like these price increases are just happening left and right and I don't know what to do. I feel like going to Louis Vuitton myself and saying, stop! People's incomes are not increasing 25% quarterly or I don't know how often they do price increases, but Louis, some of us are struggling. We don't got enough money for these little $200 here, $50 here price increases. No, but as most of you guys know, Louis Vuitton, I think like four, what, what's today, four days ago, um, they did a price increase. And for me, I think this is pretty funny. I honestly believe that they were gonna do it earlier, but then they saw all of the rumors online that there was going to be a price increase. And I think they honestly held out. That could just be me speculating about this, but I really do feel like they held out on the price increase because they didn't wanna give social media the benefit of the doubt maybe or they didn't want to let social media know that we're on to their games or there could be something happening soon there's probably going to be a launch sometime which usually is also the case but yeah i was on the louis vuitton website looking up the price of a bag that i've been lusting after the past month i would say or a few weeks and it's not the lucky bb even though i still have the lucky bb on my radar it is the mini delphine i saw it when i was purchasing my neo alma bb and i was like what is this bag because it's it's an interesting look it looks very mature elegant classy but not very typical louis vuitton but it's an old-fashioned bag in the sense that it's been around for a very long time and so when i added it a few weeks ago or a few i don't know how long ago it was it was around 2200 euros or 2000 euros something around 2000 euros and then i looked the other day it raised in price just a little bit i think like maybe 100 bucks and i was like hmm i don't remember it being that much money so then i went to the american site because i was on the german louis vuitton site and i wanted to see the never full price in dollars because i know that by heart and so i looked to see and it was 1540 and i was like okay so the prices didn't really increase so then i looked at the alma bb and the alma bb was 1620 i believe which that's i think it was 1480 before and I was like hmm but it was really interesting because I could technically order the Neverfull at 1540 the price had an increase I think that it was like readjusting or recalibrating and they didn't really make the adjustment the price update as quick as they needed to or maybe it was a kink in the system but you could technically order the Neverfull they were in stock for 1540 but the Alma was already price adjusted so then I slept on it and the next morning I looked to see if maybe my mind was playing games on me and the Neverfull raised in price I honestly feel like there was just that tiny discrepancy for a few minutes or maybe like an hour max. I think I landed exactly when they did the price increase and maybe that is the reason that it happened that way. But yeah, let's talk about the pochette accessoire. I couldn't find it on the website anymore and I believe when I looked last time, I'm going to be going through euros and dollars, you guys. I'm sorry. I sometimes know these bags by their euro amount and sometimes I know them by their dollar amount. I looked to find the bag. It wasn't there anymore, but last time I saw it, I believe it was like 700 something dollars. And if I'm not mistaken, I saw someone say that it was $1,050 now, and that's not with tax. So it's probably going to cost you 1,100 something dollars to purchase it, which is a lot of money for a pouch. <laughs> like it's, it's ridiculous to me that I don't understand the justification or what they're trying to do with this, but I, I was mind boggled by this amount and the um, percentage that they raised it on. I think it was like 30%. And for me, I feel like Louis Vuitton is a little out of touch with reality or with their clients because I remember I was looking at the pochette accessoire and it was never in stock. One time it was in stock and I didn't buy it and I felt like an idiot but every time I went to go look and it wasn't in stock they implemented a new button that said see similar items or recommendations I have no idea what it is and you would click it and it would show you bags that they would recommend in place of the pochette accessoire and like I said the pochette accessoire was like six hundred seven hundred dollars and and so when you're thinking of purchasing this bag, you're probably not thinking of buying a $2,000 pochette cousin, cousin, whatever it's called. And I was like, 
Wh what? They didn't even have the Felici as a suggestion for this bag, which for me, I would think that the Felici would be the next bag that I would want to buy in my head if I'm not able to buy the Pochette Accessoire because it's not quadruple the price <laughs> of um, the Pochette Accessoire. And the Felici got a big hefty chunk added onto it as well. For me, it was always under $1,000 and 1,000 euros. And I believe now it's increased to over a thousand euros, which is crazy because it was 700 something, I think 745 last week. And now I believe it's 1,000 or 900 euros, which is a lot of money. But yeah, the Speedy was also ran by this price increase, which I was not pleasantly surprised. I was horribly surprised because the Speedy for me was one of the most entry level bags that you could buy. It was still attainable, affordable. For me in Germany, it was less than 1,000 euros, which in luxury is unheard of. And you could just buy it very easily. And now it's above 1,000 euros, which for a lot of people, 1,000 in the realm of luxury for a bag like the speedy 25 no bandolier is so affordable but it's just like when you think of the past and where the bag started out and the price it was before i have to ask myself is it justified but yeah what i noticed was that a lot of the entry-level canvas bags and slgs were the ones hit hardest by this price increase there were some other bags that were also hit hard by the price increase my neo alma bb was hit by this price increase i want to say it was like 70 or 80 euros which probably means 100 to 200 dollars but for me i mean i'm happy that i got it cheaper but 70 bucks isn't going to break the bank for me but when i look at the bags like let's say the felici where it increased almost 300 bucks i believe that is a lot of money so i'm just trying to figure out the justification as to why they are doing this or the logic behind it because i've said this in many videos i just don't understand how they can have this small margin or the small gap between leather and canvas because i cannot wrap my head around that canvas and leather aren't a big price difference. For me, leather should be a lot more money than the canvas item. There shouldn't be like a couple hundred bucks difference. It should be a major difference. But then I do think that um, Louis Vuitton's trying to stray away from just any old person coming in and buying the cheapest thing in store and maybe trying to herd people, guide people towards their leather options or their more expensive canvas options. Because when you think about it, you go into a store, you see a sticker for $1,500 for a canvas piece, and then you see a leather piece for $1,800, and you're like, oh, that's only a $300 difference. I'm gonna buy the leather bag and set. So I just can't see that it's a win or a profit for Louis Vuitton. Another little assumption or observation that I've made is that maybe there is a supply and demand shortage, meaning basically that PVC or canvas might not be as available or readily available as it was in the past due to the situation that we are in. And maybe they're just raising the prices to try to get people to stop or not really stop, but like I said, supply and demand. You have a lot of people that want to buy the bag, but you don't have enough materials to make the bags at the same rate that you used to. So you have to raise the price, which would make a lot of sense because a lot of the entry level bags that people buy are made out of canvas. And so let's say that they have a supply shortage. And as we know, we watch videos on YouTube about Louis Vuitton employees talking about the most sold bags, the Speedy, the Alma, the Neverfull, the Felici, well, I don't know, the on the go in canvas. All of these bags are made out of canvas. And so they are the ones that are being sold like hot donuts on a Sunday morning. They're the ones getting pushed out and that requires a lot of canvas to be in production. And so maybe that's why they're raising the prices of these bags because they're the most popular bags, they're the most sold bags, and they don't have enough material to keep producing these bags at the same rate. Or they could just be doing it because they know that they can and people are still going to buy it because it's a luxury brand and people love the brand. Who knows? But yeah, I wish that Louis Vuitton would maybe communicate these things with their customers. And this is more so for or like very important customers or people that have been with the brand for years, decades. For me, I'm not like a huge spender at Louis Vuitton. I don't got money like that, you guys. My paycheck has to go to more important things than bags and perfumes and all that good stuff. <laughs> mm. But 
For the people that have been with the brand for many, many years, or that have spent a lot of money, this is sort of like a slap in the face constantly to them. Because I look at brands like Hermes or Chanel, they have private sales. People can come in, like customers, very important customers can come in. They can shop stuff that's been reduced almost 70% off of the retail price. And then you have Louis Vuitton, which sometimes gives people um, envelopes for Chinese New Year or a candle or I don't know, a leather random strap that has no particular use <laughs> for you in your everyday life or a random magazine. Moving forward, I do think though, and I do have to say, is that there isn't that much of a deal on Louis Vuitton anymore. You used to be able to get a very good deal on buying the Felici or buying the Speedy or even the Alma. These were relatively affordable bags, um, SLGs that you could purchase, that you could use, and you could enjoy. And now that's not really happening anymore. The bang for buck in these bags is slowly diminishing or being eliminated by Louis Vuitton. So now I see or I think that the bigger bags the ones that didn't really get a humongous price increase the on the go, um, these humongous totes and whatnot. These are the bags that you can look for in the future in the next couple of months to get the best bang for buck because they haven't had such huge price increases like the other bags. They might be a little bit more money, but when you're looking at the price difference between the smaller bag versus the larger bag, larger totes, let's say, you're probably going to get more bang for your buck with those bags. And my observation for the future for future price increases is either going to be in December of this year or January of next year. So a lot of times brands that raise their prices like this, they tend to do it before Christmas or they they tend to do it after Christmas when everyone is buying stuff with their Christmas money that they got. I remember when I bought the Alma BB, I think in November of 2018 or 2019, I re don't recall, I purchased it and then I returned it. I believe it was the end of November or end of December. I came back I think a month later after everything settled down for like Christmas and the holidays and it was January something and the price increased. And I was like, well, why did the price increase? Because that was the first time of me actually paying attention to the price increase at Louis Vuitton and I was like okay well what is the justification and they're like oh that just happens every once in a while every couple of months and I was like what <laughs> excuse me so yeah like I said I'm probably gonna buy two more bags maybe the Lucky BB and maybe the mini Dauphine we shall see what happens and then maybe a perfume or two and maybe a scarf I keep <laughs> I always say this at the end, this is going to be the last thing I purchase and then there I go. But yeah, you guys can let me know if you like the price increase. You can let me know if you think it's justified or if not. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys and bye.